Good to meet you. Good Good morning. Meet you. So there's a bit of a story here, is it? Yeah, I'll show you the yeah, show me the property. I'll show you where it's coming through, first of all, and then we can go up to the roof. Um, so oh, you've taken the ceiling in. The yeah, the builder took the ceiling down when he was trying when he was it investigating the, the cause oh, of the leaks. Right. Okay, now tell me where exactly does it drip? So I mean, over the course of the last six years, it's dripped in a few places, yes. but mostly about here. All right. Um, just with a lamp piece, okay. Yeah, roughly here, and then just the other side of the of the island, about about here. Okay. Now, now that the ceilings come out, how long has the ceiling been out? Uh. Two years. Two years. Okay. Two years. Twenty twenty one. Um, it's the ceiling started to collapse okay. here during so those heavy rains of twenty twenty one. You've had no ceiling for two years. Yes. How exciting. Yeah. It's been and fantastic. while you haven't got the ceiling, you now can see exactly where it drips from. You can see the watermarks on the. But on there's no the drips beams. now. Haven't had any. Um, In two years. No. No. No, no, I haven't had any leaks for the last few months. Okay. Um, and when it was leaking, mm -hmm. in since the ceiling's been taken out and yes. you can see where it's dripping from, yes. where did you see the drip? So it was dripping here. So and then, I, can, and I then, can see the timber wet yeah, just and there. Yes. So it's dripping right there where the yeah. timber's wet. Yeah, okay. And, and, then, and then this right here, here on top of the bench. Yeah, yes, because the bench, kind of yeah, the bench is this Yeah, part. where it's made. Where it's so made from off. there, it's quite, yeah, I think it's time to go upstairs. Is it? Or is it? Yep. Yep. Let's yep. Go. Now, um, who put the roof on? Uh, the builder have been. A builder who who has taken the ceiling down. That's yes, the same thing. yes, yes. So yes. he's taken the ceiling down, but he's still no idea of what's actually causing it. Causing it. But we've had an engineer's yeah. report, and they've identified five or six possible entry points yes. that are basically all around. I'd be interested to find out the engineer. Did he give you a report? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I can send. If that I can to send you. it to me, yes, yeah. For sure. Um, I just interested in what he found. Now, I've taken one of the roof sheets out just to give me a better idea of what's happening down there. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've actually got a worse leak along there than you've got in here. So down there, that's all wet. Yes, yeah. Right, so all the insulation down that row is all yes. wet. Okay. Um, part of it is because when they put this roof on, um, they inadvertently uh, push some of the insulation onto the lap and that's sucking the water in and then it, that's causing the water oh, to come into there, okay, right? Okay, right. The other reason why you're getting a lot of water in the gutter, well, there's two other reasons. One, see the sheets, they are just plain straight and they haven't been curled down. Right. Because of the flat roof, they should be turned down. Also turned out into yeah, the gutter. Into the gutter, yes. Yeah. So, so instead of being straight, they should be like that. Right, okay. yes. They yeah. haven't been done. So the, the water can actually run down the edge of the sheet and trickle backwards. Oh, well, under yeah, the... Underneath, underneath. Yeah, underneath. Then it goes under the insulation. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Now, see that in some places, the insulation actually dribbles down into mm -hmm. the gutter. See, it, yes. it's yeah. like at the back of the gutter, the insulation actually... So the insulation they've put in, the blanket they've put in, is actually too long. So it dribbles into the into the gutter, and when the gutter fills up, it sucks the, the water yes, in. Yes, it's absorbing yeah, it. Yeah, absorbing, and, and the capillary action brings it in. Mm. So you've got multiple points of entry of water along this gutter. That's all there, and it's actually come all the way in, and where I'm pointing, you can... that's. The 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 uh, blanket is actually sag because that's all damp right there. I right? can see the dampness there. Yes, yes. All right, so it's been pulled from there to there. Now, the this roof is what we call a trim deck profile, and they're not supposed to be installed at anything less than about a two degree pitch, about two or three degree pitch. Okay. What's it's this? running at about one degree. Right. That's too flat okay. on this roof. 
So they should have put something, uh, what we call a clip lock profile, which is a, a higher profile roof. Is that that's like that one? No, that's the no. corrugated. That's, okay. that's actually rated to five degrees. So that's five degrees. This mm. is two degrees. See this city shape there? Yes. That's the yes. clip lock. That's the clip lock. Yeah, so that's what they should have on right. here. Right. In fact, this is the second roof. Originally, he used. The, oh, that one. that one. Oh, really? And then he changed he it because he said this leaking? would be a better profile. Yeah, well, it, it is. Would, would it is a better runoff, profile, but it's it's not but it's what this would be. It's not the best one. Okay. So did they actually put the corrugated roof on before he Originally, changed that? Originally, yes. Or did yes. the corrugated roof leak at all? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. It, it leaked. It leaked. Yes, so he yes, pulled it out and he put this, this one in. Still ah. So it was one of many. Oh, it's a long story, isn't it? He tried. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He did try, but he. Yeah. Yeah. I showed you the picture before where on the lap there was some wall pushed up and it's and, and sucking the water in. When they push that up, up against the wall, there's actually that insulation is stuck to the back of it. And that's the reason why I took, uh, took that picture. Right. So at the back, this is at the back of the roof shed now, the, yes, that side here. Yeah. Yep. So you can mm -hmm. see that, see that when I, even after I pulled the roof shed out, yeah. there's still that blanket that's stuck to the back mm. so what happens is that because that's stuck to the back and that that's just hanging over there okay. it starts to suck the water in. Oh, right. okay. so it sucks the water in and then at the back it gets wet yes okay so it's all water being sucked in, sucked in by yeah. the insulation, insulation yeah. oh, that's really interesting because no one's mentioned no one's mentioned as that. a possibility yeah, okay. no yeah. it was always about the flashing yeah. or you know yeah. other other things all right so that's mm. that makes sense Yes, it does. Now no, thank you for so explaining So that's it. the problem with your roof. So what we need to do is, the roof goes away. Yes. We need to put another roof that's that, okay. that shape. Yes. The flashings need to be modified. We're going to throw these flashings away. We're going to join new flashings onto that flashing. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to throw all the insulation away because it's all damp. Yes. And all of that. Yes.